there are people still trying to get this case, the Kanika Jenkins case, swept under the rug, and we're still saying no. All right, so quit asking for us to stop. Quit coming on this channel asking for us to stop. The answer is no. All right, just letting you know right out the gate before you decide to go down into the comments and say that shit. The answer is no. Simple as that. Now, for those who are having a problem with the timing of Kanika coming out of the elevator, we're going to go to the paperwork. All right? This is the paperwork. You see the incident number, case number, report number. You see all that. The officer, you see all that, all right? Y'all know by now I don't play with documents. Y'all already know. I always make sure there's some way you can identify with the document that I'm showing you by you going to the Rosemont site, all right? So let's get to it. What we're going to do is we're going to distinct the reasons we have the timing besides besides the time steps. We're going to distinct the reasons why we have a complication with the timing. I told you guys from the beginning, Monifa has lied about a lot of stuff that went on that night. This is the same stuff I've been saying way before I even started getting into the details. After I told you guys, the devil is in the details. All right? I've been saying from the jump, Monifa knows what happened. She know what got everything to the point to what happened to Kanika. All right. So without further ado, we're just going to go get into this, right? Follow my cursor if you're lost from where I'm reading at at any time. You can read this here for yourself. Roman knocking on guest doors looking for her sister. So we're talking about Lenore. All right. We're talking about Lenore. Now, some of this stuff I'm going to be skipping over because, you know, we've heard the story before. It's obvious what what's about to be said. Some of you can actually read it. Some of you probably are reading it right now as I'm talking. So a lot of this stuff I'm going to be skipping over to get to my points. A lot quicker because it's a lot that I need to show you. All right. So upon arrival, PSO Labianco, PSO Brandon, and I spoke with the female. Advised, she was at the hotel looking for her sister Kanika Jenkins. She stayed at her sister. Was at the hotel in room 926 the previous night for a party. She said her friends came home early in the morning and advised her sister was last seen in the hallway on the ninth floor. Her friends came home early in the morning and advised her sister. But they also talked to her mom on the phone, right? Let's keep these things in mind as we read. 
Okay. Okay, we already know about that. Part of the lie. Uh, said her friends told her. Her friends told her Jenkins waited outside in the hallway. Okay, we already know the first lie was that they took her to the lobby and then went back for her stuff. So this is the second lie. All right. This is the lie that uh, Lenora is saying that they came to the house and told her. Said Jenkins did not have a phone because she left. She left it in the hotel room. So the advice her friends last saw Jenkins in the hallway on the ninth floor around 2.30 hours. So that's 2.30. Right? That's 2.30 in the morning. This is what her friends is saying. Her friends last saw Jenkins in the hallway on the ninth floor around 2.30. This is the time frame that a lot of you would love to go with. I get it. I understand. It makes uh it makes the situation more plausible when you when you have a certain information going along with it. It it makes it realistic, right? Well, so does the 3:30 Okay, I'm going to show you where I get the 330 from, not only from the time step, but from reading this paperwork. All right. So let's keep in mind, 230 hours is when they said they last saw Jenkins in the hallway on the ninth floor. Right. All right. Now. While speaking with such and such we gathered information from her and friends who were with and they said that Jenkins had arrived at the hotel at approximately 1.30 hours I know for a fact that she arrived around 1.12 1.13 okay I seen them pull in the parking lot I seen them walk through the parking lot I seen them come through the southwest entry I seen them come through the, the uh the East Bar entry, the full court, and that's when you see Bree Bree separate from them and go into the lobby area while Kanika and them go to the elevators. So I know the time frame very well. Alright. 130 is not the time they got there. 130 may be the time that they got in the room, but not the time they got at the hotel where inside the hotel doors. Alright? It was around 113, 112. Uh as a matter of fact, let's pull that up. Okay, that's the parking lot. That's when they first came in. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure y'all would want to see that also when they first came in. Okay? I had it stretched like this so I can see because I have a, a actual magnifying glass I don't just use this system magnifier I have an actual magnifying glass okay so so some stuff I can I can show you with uh, the magnifier on the system but the system picks up more pixels but with the real actual magnifying glass in my hand I don't see pixels. I see the picture in real zoom. All right. But anyway, this is why I had it scratched out this way. So we're just going to get it back to its normal state. And let's see. I think that was at 110 when they pulled in.
get at a second and just let that play out. But I do believe it was round 110 when they first pulled in. I think this is them right here. No, that was somebody else. So the next ones are going to be them, I believe. Oh, here they go right here. Wow. Okay. So it wasn't 110. It was, let's give them a little time then. So they was back there at 110. Let's give them. No, we ain't going to give them 107. That's gonna take a little sec. I know good well they wasn't um they didn't take that long. I just want you I just want y'all to see when they first pulled in for those who haven't seen it yet. This might be a little too late also. You know, we're just gonna go with uh let's see. Yeah, so we're gonna go with uh eight one oh eight. We're gonna speed it up, all right. Well, that's done right now. That's done right now. So 108.19, let's take it back to, uh, that's 108.17. Tell you what, we'll just take it from here and then speed it up. Oh, dear, the second. This is them right here, all right? Looking for a pocket spot. That's them when they first pulled in. skipped this little spot they skipped this lane and went to the next lane because it looked like it was some parking spots right though but I think in the report they said something about she was told to park in the back 
she was told to park in the real parking. So whether they calling this whole thing the real parking, because they do have a front parking, right? They do have a front parking area that's in front of the hotel. So whether they were saying park back here or park back there, back here, you know what I'm saying? What did they really mean by real parking? So anyway. So you see them parking, and then, uh, well, you don't actually see them parking, parking, but you see them coming in to park. And then around 112, I think that was, they starts walking through the, uh, the parking lot. Between 111 and 112, they starts walking through the parking lot. Look like they're still parking. I just seen another light right there. Alright. And this is them. Alright. Everybody on their phones. Alright. Except Bree. Everybody's on their phones at 111. And we're going to get to that part also about um this phone situation, the, these text messages that she was so called sending. Uh, we're going to get to that. All right. We're going to get to the UTC time and all the other stuff. We're going to get to that. Might not be in this video, but we're going to get to it. So anyway, so they claim that she came in at 130, really it was around, you know, 112, 113, blah, blah, blah. And it says down here, uh, we asked her if we could review. Oh, let me see. The officers, love y'all go, however you pronounce that dude's name, Brandon and I spoke with the hotel manager about the incident we asked we asked her if we could review their video camera to see when Jenkins entered and exited the hotel we first checked the main lobby door but did not see Jenkins enter through there um let's see the reason why he said that is because up here somebody told the officers, she was advised that Jenkins, Lenora, was advised that Jenkins had entered into the main hotel lobby door. Okay? Now, we don't know how this conversation went. Okay? We don't know how the conversation went between the officers and Lenora. It could have been a mishap. They could have been asking one question. She could have been answering yes, yes, yes. You know, just trying to hurry up through the question or whatever, or trying to say something else, and the mix up became this. You see what I'm saying? Who knows? But why would they lie about the main lobby door? Again, you know what I'm saying? Nobody came through the door around about that time anyway, looking like her, so let's be clear of that. Um anyway, so they checked the main lobby doors. Did not see Jenkins enter through there at any time in the night. Said there was only one other door in the hotel that had video surveillance. We asked to review the other entrance of the hotel at 1.13 hours on 9.9.17. We continue to review the cameras to see if Jenkins had exited at any time. We spoke with such such again who advised Jenkins had posted a Snapchat. Alright. A Snapchat video. Around two seventeen hours. She posted a video around two seventeen, which appears to show her inside of a hotel bathroom. Can we say this again? She had posted a Snapchat video around two seventeen hours. 
which appears to show her inside of a hotel bathroom. But up here, her friend said that she went missing 2.30. Or she was last seen in the hallway at 2.30. But here it is, 2.17. We know the infamous bathroom footage when she snapped, uh, snapped this, this video. All right. That was at 2.17. All right, let's read along. Uh, let's see. See how I can make this quick. It appears to show her inside of a hotel bathroom. We advise that we located Jenkins on the video coming into the hotel but could not see her exiting. Did not advise or did advise that there are many exits she could have left out of that would not be on video. We advise Lenora that we would go check room 926 to see if there was anything suspicious in the room. Uh, that, 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 that. Okay, so as you guys can read, let me see. Jenkins scale left out of the information will help police telephone pass loan information da, 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 da. all right so into that conversation um again who stated she saw someone in the window on the 11th floor that may have been Jenkins okay so this is the time that they called the police back and said hey we seen somebody on the 11th floor look like her da 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 binoculars pulled out they ran up to the uh the uh see after speaking with the hotel staff they advised floor in question was actually the 13th floor okay so they ran up to the 13th floor and so once on the 13th floor we confirmed the room in Question by entering it with permission from the occupant to shine our flashlight the window, confirm that it was in the room. That this was the room. The movement around the window was the actions of the children attending a birthday celebration. I went back down to the ninth floor where Jenkins was originally last seen to speak with guests who were still checking the hotel. It said they heard noise in the hallway, but nothing suspicious. That's basically what that whole little paragraph said. Y'all can read it yourself. While speaking with the other guests, the manager notified us that she observed Jenkins on video at 3.30 hours in the lower level area. Okay. The manager found contact with the officers and said, hey, I see her. She's coming out of the elevator on the lower level. 3.30. All right. 3.30. This is in the reports. This is what we got to go by. All right. Not only that, it's on video showing you that. Now, for those who don't understand what editing a video is, takes they would not have had that much time to do that that quick to change it from 2.30 to 3.30 it doesn't work that way it's a little more complicated than that that's why they needed days days okay then they finally released the clear footage and things like that, all right? It, if you have an expert who knows what they're doing and they've worked with your system before, which I'm pretty sure they got somebody on deck, all right? Because this ain't their first rodeo. The way they put this shit together this is not their first rodeo. I get it, all right? But on that particular day, 
of the ninth. There was no way for them to manipulate the videos that quick. This is the reason why the very first footage that we have is from the police officer's camera. Handheld camera. They video the screen of the surveillance in or behind the lobby desk. They pulled out their handheld camera, the police pulled out their handheld camera and recorded what they could see on the screen. Then they told Crown Plaza, keep your footage, do what you need to do and give it to us when you can. Basically, that's what the fuck they did because they didn't snatch in the hard drives. They was too busy recording the fucking screen so they can show that to the public and they can give something to the news. They was too busy worrying about that instead of snatching the fucking hard drive. But what they didn't count on is the fucking shadows and things like that that was going on on the footage. This is the reason why since Grey Hughes keep denying the shit, it's the reason why they had to snatch the very first one they had up on the news. They had to snatch it down. It was too many goddamn shadows. Then, since we decided we wanted the clear footage, they gave us the fucking clear footage. when we should have stuck with the footage that they gave us at the beginning. Because that footage was giving us the total truth. But we didn't want that. It was too blurry. We want the clear shit. We want the HD shit. So they gave us the HD shit. So that's why we're where we're at now Still looking at the time jump, saying, look at this, look at this. Look at that, time jumping, look at that, time jumping, look at that, fuck that. Go back to the very first videos, the blurry shit, and you'll be looking at more than the time jumping. You'll be looking at motherfuckers choking her, carrying her, and all kind of other shit. That came off the police handheld, handheld camera. So right with that shit, all right? Right with that shit. That's where it's at. I told y'all in my other video. Everything that glitter ain't gold, go back. Go the fuck back. Everything that glitter ain't fucking gold. All right. I got more for you later on, all right? Y'all know what to do. Get in the comments. Stay tuned.